क्लास फाइव कंप्यूटर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न मोर अबाउट वर्ड्स दैट इज मैनेजिंग टेक्स्ट एंड स्टाइल्स इन एम एस वर्ड टू थाउजेंड टेन दैट इज मैनेजिंग टेक्स्ट एंड स्टाइल्स इन एम एस वर्ड As you have already seen some video clips on this chapter let us learn it more briefly and know about it well you have already learnt how to edit and how to format that is you have already done editing and formatting in ms word 2010 so today we are going to learn more about it a very good day to my dear students stay safe and stay home so let's get started managing text and styles in ms word 2010 there are many tools present in ms word by which we can edit and format our text and make it more attractive it it can be changed according to one's like so there are many tools present in ms word by which we can edit and format our text and make it more attractive it can be changed according to one's like today we are going to learn about how to use format painter tool how to apply subscript and superscript find and replace the text and creating header and footer so today we are going to learn about format painter tool how to apply subscript and superscript find and replace the text and creating header and footer now let's see what are the steps to do this the very first topic is using format painter tool format painter tool is used to copy formatting from existing text to another text format painter tool is used to copy formatting from existing text to another text now let us see the steps to use this tool see it very careful how to use this tool okay so what are the steps see the steps are given here select the text or graphic with the formatting to be copied select the text or graphic with the formatting to be copied step number 2 is from where we are going to select select home tab click the format paint button select home tab click the format painter button then see the pointer changes to the brush the pointer changes to the brush apply the copied format with the brush and click on the desired text apply the copied format with the brush and click on the desired text so you can see the changes that in this too you have seen the changes how it has changed so it is very easy to 
do this so ms word applies the formatting in the document ms word applies the formatting in the document first of all we all know how to format see so i have just selected the text i have just selected the text which i want to edit okay then then edit it according to your like now i want to change it something else now if you want to do it in other ways you can do it as you like so i have selected bold and italics then changed the color and then i have done the format painter thing then i have used this format painter tool and just copied the format which i have changed in the first paragraph then i have just uh, took taken the brush format painter brush and just selected the text and it has also changed into same thing i don't have to do it twice i just have to select the text and just go to the home tab button click the format painter button and the desired text i want to be changed i want it to be changed then i have just clicked there and it has changed now applying subscript and superscript now before knowing how to use subscript and superscript we have to know what is subscript and what is superscript clear a subscript or superscript is a number or a letter that is smaller than the normal font size subscript is set below and superscript is set above the normal text a subscript or superscript is a number or a letter that is smaller than the normal font size subscript is set below and superscript is set above the normal text now you can see see the image this is subscript and this is superscript means x and 2 2 is written down that is subscript and x to the power 2 and 2 is written above that is superscript so this is only the difference between superscript and subscript let's see the steps how to apply subscript and superscript in the text the steps to use the formatting are select the text to be formatted select the text to be formatted then step 2 is select home tab click the dialog box launcher from the font group select home tab click the dialog box launcher from the font group and the last step select font tab under the effects section click the subscript or superscript check box then you have to just click the subscript if you want to do it in the subscript form you can select subscript and if you are doing superscript you can just select it as superscript and it is changed nothing very harder it's very easy just you need to be practice you have to practice this now see the tag corner which is very important we can insert the subscript or superscript by directly clicking the given icons just we can click the icons and it is changed into the subscript form or superscript form okay
find and replace the text we can search for any word or phrase using find and replace tool we can search for any word or phrase using find and replace tools okay so what is find and replace tool find and replace tool makes our work very easy and faster what does it do whenever i'm writing a huge paragraph and i and if i have to find a word and i have to change it so i have to look it for in a whole paragraph then i have to change select that word then change again i have to select that word again i have to change and it goes on and goes on it consumes lot of time okay and wastage of time loss of energy so with the help of find and replace text our work becomes easier now let us see what are the steps the steps to use this options are select home tab select home tab click replace from editing group select home tab click replace from editing group then the find and replace dialog box opens the find and replace the find and replace dialog box opens inside find what okay inside find what box type the text to be searched whatever text you want to search you have to just type it okay and then search it inside replace with now where the replace with box is given just you have to write the word which has to be replaced with the find word okay so inside replace with box type the text to be replaced click find next button click find next button then click replace to replace the highlighted text click replace to replace the highlighted text click replace all to replace all instances of the text in your document okay click replace all to replace all instances of the text in your document whatever text you have to replace it just you have to write in the replace box and uh, which text you have to replace you have to write in the find what box and just you have to do what you have to click replace all and how many words in the replace there will be it will be replaced to total to skip this instance of the next and proceed to the next instance click find next button to skip this instance of the text and proceed to the next instance click find next button and it has been done total creating header and footers now let's see what is header and footer first then we are going to learn about the steps headers and footers are applied to very lengthy documents for easy follow up headers and footers are applied to very lengthy documents for easy follow up text and images can be inserted as header and page numbers can be inserted as footer so the headings which we give is the header and the page number is inserted as the footer the given information will appear on all the pages of the documents the given informations will appear on all the pages of the documents so text and images can be inserted as header and page numbers can be inserted as the footer the steps to insert a header and footers into a document are the steps to insert a header and footer into document are number 1 click insert tab click header or footer option from header and footer group select insert tab click header or footer option from header and footer group choose any one type of layout from the built in layout options choose any one 
type of layout from the built-in layout options. Type the desired text and double click on the blank document. Type the desired text and double click on the blank document. It means whatever heading you want to give it, you can give it on it. And page numbers, if you first write page number one, accordingly it will be in page number two, three, it will be go on. Okay, you don't have to put it again and again. You just have to one time select and it will be there in all the pages. rest of the things we are going to do in the rest class next class okay till then you are going to practice some question answers by your own okay now let's see the question answers which are the what are the questions you are going to write it first number is why format painter tool is used in ms word 2010 why format painter tool is used in ms word 2010 number two what is a subscript what is a subscript number three what is a superscript what is a superscript number four what are headers and footers what are headers and footers till then thank you